There are a few mods that I consider game changers in the modding community, and some of them make no changes to the game itself. Utilities that make things easier for both mod authors and mod users. And I can't think of any as impactful to the Skyrim modding community as the address library for SKSC plugins by MEH321. I have good news. MEH321 has done it again and brought the address library to Starfield. Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Before the address library for Skyrim, every time there was an update to the game, we all had to go through an excruciating period of waiting for SKSE to update to the new version and then hope that all your script extender mods would be updated as well, or they just wouldn't work. Sometimes it would happen right away, other times it would never happen at all for various reasons. The address library fixed all that. Once a mod author included the coding to access the address library in their script extender mod, it becomes version independent. In the simplest of terms, it wouldn't have to be updated for each new version of the game or script extender. Real fast, let's review the update process with and without the address library. When Starfield gets an update from Bethesda, the executable gets a change, and that will necessitate a new version of the Starfield script extender. All mods that use SFSE will need to be updated as well, or they become inoperable. With the address library, Bethesda pushes out another update to Starfield in the future. Once again, SFSE will need to be updated. There's just no way of avoiding this. And the address library would need to be updated as well to go along with the new version. But all those SFSE mods that use the address library don't need to be updated. When your mod list has potentially dozens of mods that rely on the script extender, this is a huge relief to both mod authors and users. I'm not in any way qualified to explain the wizardry that MEH321 pulls off to make this happen, but let's just say that I trust him explicitly based off his past work in Skyrim. Over on the Starfield Nexus, it is mod 3256, and I will include this link in the bottom of the description of this video so you can access it. We see address library for SFSE plugins by MEH321. It is in its first version, so this is brand new. When you scroll down, you can see it contains a database to make SFSE DLL plugins version independent easily. And it goes in the description. Read this stuff. If you're a regular user, you probably don't need to go any farther than right here, where it says for regular mod users, download and install the all-in-one package from the files section. You can use the mod manager to, or do it manually. The bin file should go here, and it says data SFSE plugins. Mod Organizer 2 handles that directly for you. If you're using Vortex, you may have to go through some other steps. For plugin authors, it does say that you're going to have to wait for the common lib, Starfield, or SFSE to add support. After that, use the appropriate offsets.txt file to see which ID corresponds to which offset, and then you can use the ID instead of the offset to make your mod not depend on any specific game version. There's additional information about what the files mean. If you're a mod author, I would recommend that you go over to the address library for SKSE plugins and kind of go through this list and he'll go into more detail about what that all means. I think a lot of it right now is depending on we're waiting for tools such as common lib. But over on the Skyrim Nexus, it is mod number 32444. That's the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus, I should point out, but I will include that link as well. But let's get back to address library for Starfield. Over in the file section, you're gonna see the all-in-one. If you're a user, make sure it's the all-in-one that is for the version of the game you're using. Right now, the most common up-to-date version of Starfield is 1.7.29.0. This will also correspond to the newest version of SFSE. Over on the miscellaneous files, this is information for mod authors, so you can see it contains the different offsets, but that's something for the mod authors to worry about, not us as users. So go ahead and download this with your mod manager of choice. I'm using Mod Organizer 2 for all examples going forward. Once you're into Mod Organizer or your mod manager of choice, you're going to see it in your Downloads tab. 
we have it right here. It is called the All-in-One. Don't worry, it will end up being shown as a dress library for SFSE. I've also included a dummy SFSE as if it were to contain the scripts and data folder. This is not as it currently stands, but I want this video to be future proof. So I have included a SFSE dummy file as if it were to have the data and scripts folders. So once you have it, you can either double click to install. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to actually drag it where I want it. And this is where I recommend you putting all your SFSE mods and it's going to go directly underneath your SFSE mod in the priorities tab. You'll get manual and you can see exactly what you're doing. You have the data folder and then you inside that you have SFSE folder, a plugins folder and the version lib files. And these will change with each new update. You can see it has the older version of 1.7.23 and 1.729, which is the most recent version. You can just go ahead and press OK. Everything looks great. And activate it. And that's all you need to do. Each time that the address library for SFSE plugins will update, you just need to install it and overwrite it. Don't merge it, just overwrite it. It will have all the information you need. Nothing else will need to be changed. So when you go into your data tab, you can see SFSE, plugins, and you can see all the ones I currently have, including the version.libs 1.7.23 and 1.7.29. These are all in your plugins folder virtually through Mod Organizer. You will not see anything in your main directory for Starfield. There will be no plugins for this because this is an SFSE plugin, so it has its own plugins and a DLL relies on SFSE to provide it. So that's all there is on installation. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. So like I said, every time that we get a new game version, you're going to have to wait for SFSE to update. And then the address library will need to be updated for any mods that include it. At the time of this recording, there were no mods. I went through the Nexus and checked everything to see if anyone was using the address library and nothing has at this time. But it is worth knowing for the future because it will become incredibly important. And as more mod authors use the address library, you should know it and you should be aware of how it works and when you need to update it and when you can just go ahead and play your mods. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching. I will have more modding tutorials going in the future. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel and I'm signing off.